do the solar system speed paint the pro way on MS Paint, I gotta show you how I draw it on paper first. Because that's the basis on where I started. So yeah, let's go to the drawing station. So let me show you what I'm talking about. This is actually my way of shading. You might have other ways of shading, but here's just how I do it. So just pretend that this circle is representing our planet. And, and there we go. There's our planet. So here's my way of shading. First, you draw this line. First, I draw this line, which represents the border of where I want the dark and light to be. And then I kind of go down and then kind of get a little lighter and lighter on both sides. So right here, there's just... You'd think that the complete back part of the ball will be darker, but it's actually this part. I'll just leave you to look on the wiki. I don't need to explain it right now. So I then like get a little thicker of a line of dark. There we go. And then you push lighter and lighter and the lighter you want your shadows to be, the further away you hold your pencil from the tip. So I all I learned all this from my dad. And that's what lets me do all this work. So, and then you keep on getting lighter and lighter. The reason why you add a lot of detail and shading in, into pro pieces of art, well, not pro pieces specifically, is so that way you can add depth to your sphere or cube, planet, whatever you're making. And to give it more depth, just put a slight shadow around the entire planet. So that way it'll seem like a ball just floating in space. And then you start to do some little edits and you know, get a little darkness right here. Put a little dash over here. Put some lightness. <laughs> Is lightness even a word? Yeah. If there's just like breaks in the shading, then you just fix it up and make it look really nice. Ish. So that's how I do my shading. So now that I showed you how I did it on paper, now let's do it in MS Paint. So let's do a more complicated one, like Earth. So we'll go with a more natural blue, kind of like, like this. Perfect. And so I'm gonna do the circle, solid color. Oh, I forgot it's white. There we go. And there's our base. Now, you can use an image if you want and just take it from there. I'm just going to do it from memory, so that way it'll look more... I don't know. So first, actually, you do the shading. Now, apart from on paper, it's a little bit different in paint. You take the little spray paint tool, um, right there. You kick it up all the way. Um, I just like to gather all the colors first, so that way I don't have to keep on going in and out for them. So, I'm just gonna do that real quick. I don't know why, but this color just reminds me of Thanos for some reason. Oh, that was purple, this is blue. Alright, so, the way this works in MS Paint, so, you... It's kind of the same, but a little different. So you take the darkest color. Hold on, I just want to get this, get the background black. Actually, no, I think it's good like this. So you take the darkest color, and then 
like you just wait a little bit because look here's an example here if you just literally just tap it creates a small amount of dots if you hold it almost creates a full circle so you gotta do it somewhere on this you gotta do the shading near this amount or somewhere in between or maybe somewhere in between here who knows so yeah there's that index and this goes for the shading so I'm just gonna shade 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 make sure to do back here so there's this one weird thing effect that like you have to do like um this part like the darkest and then you gotta do some light part here so I'm just gonna do that and I'll try to edit that so I'm just gonna keep on doing shading shade 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 so you gotta put shade around the entire sphere to or planet to give a sense of depth so I'm just gonna finish this part up I'm just gonna do it in a, a lighter ish color so just give me a minute I promise this isn't just gonna be another solar system speed paint I promise So there's the base shading for the back. Oh my gosh, my drawing pad is so sweaty. My hand is sweaty too. You take one of your lighter colors, lighter shade things, and then you kind of go over top of the, the dark shade and you do that and then you do it do that with the rest of the shading colors and then you just go around the entire sphere uh, this isn't dark purple it's blue so just add a sense of depth to your little planet if some people can call it that no offense please I hope you don't take it and I just like going around I just like redoing the layers and making sure it all like blends into it each other and then it just makes it look more natural and clean finished. So give me a little bit. I'll be back. So you do the, the base, like the very back, the hardest, or the slowest, and then once you get to the edge, like where the lighting is, you start to start moving fast, faster and faster, and then it starts blending and making it like that, however you want to call it. And so I'm going to start working on the lights, the lighting. So I just like doing a little oval and then starting to speed up at the edges and making it heavier in the center. So that's kind of how I do it. 
It's kind of how I roll. And I take the lighter color, put that within. Uh, why does this remind me of Thanos for some reason? Oh, yeah. Don't get me wrong, but be go ahead, be surprised. I've never watched Infinity War. Go ahead, just throw it at me. So here's the base. I just gotta make this look a little nicer. So yeah, there's the <laughs> There's the base of the planet. Um Yeah, there's just there's an example and then you just work from there, you add the details. So I'm just gonna get rid of these. Oh, I don't want that. I want this. I'm just gonna move this over and then copy it. Paste. There you go, now I have two. <laughs> Why would you need two Earths? One looks darker than the other. That's odd. Maybe it's just me. Alright, so on this one, I'm going to add the continents. So I'm going to be a little more detailed with how I draw these. I need to go for a more natural green. So I'm just going to do that. And draw. Like to draw the continents really easily. Wait, just that thing doesn't really sound like it. Eh, whatever. Um, um, like you have to find something that you think it resembles or looks most like. North America just kind of looks like. I don't know what it looks like. I just know how to draw it. And. I'll get to explaining the other ones in a little bit. So like you got this huge mass and then you got this little cat llama looking thing right here. And then you got Alaska, which kind of looks like, if you turn your head, it kind of looks like a bat or a ball with a spike coming out of it. And then you got Florida right here, you got the little part of Mexico, whatever this is. And then you got the little things, things, the little countries. And then you got your Caribbean islands, Cuba, Jamaica, um, what's it called? <laughs> nah. Then you got the Bahamas. Then you got South America. South America just looks like an ice cream cone. Like this part's the cone, and then you got like a huge scoop of ice cream that's like tilting over. I gotta redo that. And then it kind of got slight cuts. It kind of has like this little hook, and like. These two little humps, 
So you do that, and then you kind of go in a little bit, and then you go out, make it a little lumpy, and there you go. And then you got Africa, which looks like a horse that turned 90 degrees. And it's fitting because by the time I'm recording this, tomorrow's the Derby. Or wait, what, what, what day is it? It's Saturday. Yeah, it's the Derby. It's the Derby today. So, yeah. So, there's a big scoop. There's a big part, and then it kind of goes that and then goes down. And it's just like off. It's kind of like over the horizon of how I'm drawing it. And then in here, you got a little squiggles. Shout out to my friend Dylan and Mr. Squiggles. Then you got Turkey, um, Italy, and just Europe. Europe, to me, is just a mess. I don't know what it resembles to me. And, oh, I forgot Hawaii! Hawaii. There we go. And then you got the United Kingdom, um, Iceland, Greenland, and then all of these jumbled island messes. And you got lakes and rivers and everything else. So I'm just going to go ahead and fill these in. This is going to take a little bit of time. basic shapes of the continents down well they're not really basic and now I'm just gonna create the shades and darker and lighter colors of the continents and then I'm gonna get some more detailed stuff um, select this tool again and for some of the more detailed spots you need to use a step smaller brush so that way you can work around all those cracks and crevices and then you could just go in with the deeper color and clean up all the Things. So back to the painting. Um, you also gotta get a feel of like how you draw it because how you draw the continents affects the entire um, work and like if the continents are too small then it's not really gonna look right if they're too big then it's not gonna look right <laughs> so you gotta get a little control of that by maybe having a globe in your room or practicing how to draw the earth for having a map right in your face. In Theos. The shading is very important because it's the core essential to make your planet look like a planet by adding depth and shadows and light and all that stuff. 
all those goodies. So if you're like missing a few colors in your hue and you just need it, then you could just go into the little edit colors and then edit colors. <laughs> and yeah. After you do the general shading, um <laughs> what am I trying to say? Um, you can go like you throw the land masses and add deserts and snow and beaches. Whatever you need to do to make your earth look earthy. Shots earthy. So now I'm going to do a few deserts here and there and everywhere. <laughs> so the main one is the Sahara Desert in Africa. So I'm going to do that by selecting the brush or just doing, yeah, selecting the brush and putting a line here and then using the fill tool to do that. And then I'm just going to like if you get darker colors and you have like this kind of pale color um, like when you get darker you go down the scale and then you kind of move down to like down here to the gray you start removing I'm just gonna put a few like right there, a little, little bit over here, and right here. And I'm gonna put a little bit of snowy snowness in here. And so now your earth is looking a lot more earth like. <laughs> And with a lot of life and more continents 
paint. So this is what it looked like before time when God was creating it. And here's what it looked like now. What it looked like now? What it looks like now. So now, if you want, you can add clouds by selecting this brush and then I'll show you. So, like in, in this middle part, you go spray, 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 splash, 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 brush. And when you get like near the edges where your shading is, you get like a darker color, like gray or something. And then you do that. Maybe you can put a little gray cloudness in the non shaded part. And then you get darker and darker once you get to the black part. And once again, a little bit of light to put some life into your planet. So there's your earth. You can clean this up. I'm just going to do both of them for you. So. I'm just going to do that. So that's the original without the land masses so that way you get a feel of how to draw all the other planets if you want. Well, I'm sure. I got it. Yeah. Alright, now I'm just gonna do the same for this one. <laughs> results and I just showed you how I do the magic which is the art so if you like this or if you found this helpful give this a like and subscribe to my channel comment down below if this was helpful and if you tried and I hope you it worked out well for you and uh, I can't wait to see your reactions <laughs>